The city of Varanasi in northern India may be the oldest continually inhabited city in the world. People have been living here on the banks of the Ganges River for more than 3,000 years. Hindus consider Varanasi a holy city. Each year, a million pilgrims make their way here to bathe in the waters of the Ganges, their holy river. Buddhist temples and Muslim mosques are also dotted about the city, but it's rare to see a church. Spreading the gospel in the city has been challenging. In the sprawling metropolis of some three million people, there are only 60 Adventists. Although there have been few converts in the city, it is a very different story in the nearby rural villages of northern India. Men and women come together in this village to worship their creator every week. Five global mission pioneers are active in the area. These local believers are dedicated to spreading the gospel to everyone they meet. The harvest has been ripe. More than 200 local people have been baptized into the church in recent years. With growing congregations comes the need for churches, and throughout the Southern Asia Division, churches are desperately needed. In many areas, congregations meet in homes or outdoors. In a region filled with countless temples and mosques, a place for Christians to worship is a necessity. The idea of worshiping without a special place dedicated to God seems strange to many. In India, and especially in Orissa, we have temple behind every home and they get together, they, they have so much of a religi religious feeling. And when we don't have a church building, they say that you're not a religious person. And if we have a church, it's easy for us to attract them. Otherwise, they say you have n no place of worship and you don't belong to a God. There has been an active Seventh-day Adventist group here in this small village in northern India for many years. More than 50 people meet in this yard every week to praise God and study the Word. Matios Vido was the first Adventist in the area. Matios was once a witch doctor who communed with spirits and used his witchcraft to destroy people. But the Holy Spirit was working on his heart. He searched for Christians, seeking help and escape from his life of witchcraft. Eventually, he met a Seventh-day Adventist, and after studying the Bible, he accepted Christ. Eleven years ago, he started this group and he continues to lead them in worship every week. There are many in the area who are curious about the Adventist believers here, but there's no church building, and this has limited the group's growth. Sometimes the congregation must meet inside Mateo's small house, and visitors leave because there is no more room. We are coming to your place for worshiping. So many days you're taking to make a building, a small church for us. We want to come and worship. Why are you delaying? Your support of the mission offering this quarter will help congregations like this one that are desperately in need of a place to worship God. If you build a church building here, he says, not only me and my family, the entire village I'll bring to the church to worship the Lord Jesus Christ and we'll become Christian. Throughout India, the need for churches remains the same. The Adventist congregation in this village has a church, but they can't use it. This mud building is more than 40 years old, and it's no longer safe for use. The wooden ceiling is rotted and leaks badly, and large faults have developed in the mud wall. The pastor believes it could fall at any time. In rainy season, this house may collapse, this church may collapse, and we get afraid to worship here. So therefore, we go out and we worship outside. When they can, the congregation meets in the town hall across the street. But the building is not always available, and other villagers look down on religions that don't have a permanent place of worship to call their own. The people, those who are living around here, they say they, you do not have any church. We like it, but you do not have any nice church to sit here. So when you will have the church and good accommodation here, then we will come and we'll join with you. So I hope some more people, uh, those living around here, they, they will come and they are telling that we, they will come. The Adventist Church is growing rapidly in parts of the Southern Asia Division, but there is still much work to be done. There are still hundreds of millions of people who have never heard the good news of salvation, and the growing numbers of new believers are in need of churches to call their own. 
pray that the Holy Spirit will continue to work on hearts and minds in Southern Asia. Thank you for your faithful support of missions each Sabbath. To learn more about Adventist Mission, please visit AdventistMission.org.